Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Relationships and Chill podcast. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about what is the purpose of a woman? I think it's going to blow your mind. Stay tuned. You're listening to Relationships and Chill, the podcast for singles and couples about how to find and cultivate the relationship you've always dreamed of based on trust and honest communication. Why waste your time going through the typical dating obstacle course only to end up with drama, jealousy, and heartbreak when you can find the love of your life and live happily ever after? So sit back, chill, and get ready to make relationships great again. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Relationships and Chill podcast. And our aim is to make relationships great again. We want to make you find and help you find the best relationship possible. Definitely by working on yourself and understanding yourself a lot better is the reason why we designed this this particular platform to give as much information and instruction as possible really conventional information because I really don't know of anyone that has created or even tried to touch on the lines of why something was, why a man was created. If you listen to the last episode, I touched on why men were created. Now in this particular episode, I'm going to be talking about why women were created. Why was the woman created and why was she important to the, why was she she so important to the creation process? And so in this episode, I'm going to be talking about a lot more um, and how and why she was developed. What what role did she play in the understanding or the 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 functioning of this world that we live in? So lace up your boots because I'm about to shoot <laughs> um, now. If you listen to the last episode, I really talked about my perspective and how the things that I went through to get to a place where I was to have the understanding that, hey, I'm I'm wasting my time chasing my tail, trying to find and just chasing out the women my whole life. I don't want that to be the sum total of my life. When I look back over everything, it would just revolved around chasing women. Now, women, this is important, to, very important for you to understand because the game that society has set up is that your vagina is the prize. Having sex with you is the prize. Not getting you, not being with you, but just the pleasurable part of you is the prize. And a lot of women, that's fundamentally what they believe. They believe that like men only want this one thing. So I got to find different ways to get them to want more than just the sexual aspect of who I am. And but the creator had a lot more in mind when he designed woman. But it was a lot of it was predicated on the fact of and the foundation of what he designed to be in the man. It's not good for man to be alone it was the first thing that the most high said when he looked at man the creation that he had created by himself. Now, I can go so much deeper into the next words after that. We will make man in our image. But I'm just strictly wanting to talk about the basic fundamentals of why he decided to create the woman. And a lot of women don't obviously don't know this stuff, but a lot of men really don't know the purpose of a woman. I know I didn't other than sexually, because that's the paint. That's the picture that I have been painted. And I know for women, they didn't even know their purpose. That's the picture that they have been painted. That a woman is only a nurturer. A woman is only good for sexuality, her sexuality. And if she's sexually suppressed, then she's not free. If you notice that, and I, and I've noticed this over my t- over time that women in this particular society, if, now, this is something that is built into the woman, that sexuality is a woman's domain. That is true. But if a woman's not if, if a woman's not in that connection with the, the man, then the sexuality part becomes really a curse at that point. But in the confines of what the creator created the woman for, sexuality is her way of replenishing a man. Now, 
I said all that to say that it's very well this these series this series is so vitally important it's so vitally important but for t- for to be able to understand the purpose of why women were designed they were designed if you listen to the last episode about the purpose of man you understand that the man was designed to create he was designed to produce he was designed to work he was designed to to develop and to maintain to manage and all all the while the base level is just managing the the higher levels are being able to create now depending on where you are as a woman is going to determine what you attract or what type of man you attract the higher a woman elevates and the higher the deeper a woman works on herself also because we were all designed for work um while we were put here for work even women have the desire to work but the beauty of what the most high created for woman or through woman is the ability to replicate what that man is not just a physical child but internally what is what that man is who he is is one he's going to be drawn to a specific type of woman where he wants to be in a relationship with but it doesn't just stop there see if you listen to the last episode, I definitely talked about how men develop, how men have to develop and work and go through the process of work to draw what's in out. And the higher a man works and the higher a man learns about himself and develops himself will determine what he's able to replicate or what he's able to give out of the thing that he's produced within himself. And the higher a woman elevates and the higher a woman Um, evolves into herself and into womanhood see this is why women who this is why society is is really and it's really sad because society wants women to basically become masculine and to become manly so if you are leaving your womanhood behind what happens is you do not you do not receive the best of what you were designed to do for one thing, but the best of of what that potential man has to offer, because now you guys are fighting with each other as opposed to developing with each other. See, man was not, he was not equipped. He was equipped, but he, it wasn't good for man to be alone, to be by himself. I will make him the most high said, I will make him a help me. Someone that is capable of helping him to develop, himself to either even greater capacity but see if a woman is out of alignment then her ability to help that man become better will actually work against the whole relationship and that's in another the next um episode i'm going to be talking about the purpose of a relationship but the purpose of a woman is to develop and also to because if you look at it the way I started to understand it is like the ground. We understand fertility and we understand a man is his viral. His virility is what captivates and draws a woman to him. But a woman's fertility is what draws a man to a woman. And so as a woman develops her fertility or she becomes more fertile, that that isn't just a physical thing where you're able to reproduce children. Fertility has a lot to do with what you're able to bring in spiritually, internally and replicate and develop internally and then produce out or supply what's already being like, for for instance, if I give you information and you are able to expound upon the information, that is a version of fertility. It means you're able to take something that was was not there and based on the things that you are good at to add to that and produce something that is way better than what it was when you first got it. That's what a woman is designed to do. Now, couple those two things together. If I like I said in the last episode, the most high gave man this earth to have dominion and rulership over what a woman does is she's able to take what has been given this earth and based on her fertility and her and who she is, develop the thing that has been given into something that's better and bigger 
Because one great thing about a woman also is that women have the ability to to inspire creativity, meaning that a man that's chasing women is super creative as it relates to how to approach and how to talk to women. So a woman can inspire the best out of a man as far as the approach and as far as getting the interest in a, in a woman and a, getting the interest from a woman to him requires a certain level of creativity. So as a woman develops and becomes a higher level of, of her best self or who she was designed to be. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this particular episode is what is the purpose of a woman? What is a woman designed to do? She's designed obviously for help me, but what are you helping? Now, if you listen to the last episode, you will start to understand that when the creator created man, he created man for a purpose, for a reason to do a specific task, to do a specific thing. As a woman, your abilities to help that man replicate or reproduce or produce something within himself is something that the most high innately put inside of women to be able to do so a man can be great at one thing but if the right if he can if he has an understanding of women like i will be kind of breaking down into in this episode then choosing the right woman becomes very important in the sense that if you choose the wrong woman or if you become the wrong type of woman for a and allow yourself to be drawn to men who don't have certain characteristics and qualities that the most high has said to do, then you will be wasting your time on someone that is not productive. Therefore it slows down your production. It slows down you from being able to reproduce the thing that a man is supposed to be able to impart into you and into your life. So choosing the right man is very important in the sense that it actually makes you it take it brings you further back if a man is not in alignment with the purpose that he was designed to be in then it could absolutely affect you and i know most women already know that so it's vitally important to understand yourself so that you can understand what type of man is equipped right who's working within the confines of what the creator designed him to so that way you can be an addition and not a subtraction or the the relationship that you two create can be something that is beneficial to the to the world at large because a lot of a lot of people get into to relationships and based on who they are they end up having more problems so now in their circle everybody else is starting to develop those similar problems or you gravitate towards people in those similar problems but that is a that's based on an individual thing and the thing that we allow to influence us the things that we allow in the things that we allow into our eyes and into our ears so when um the woman was when the man was there the man had been created he had been given tasks to do he'd been placed into the garden uh in eden and he told the man to work every tree here is for you to use but your job here is to work then he said it's not good for man to be alone so then after that he created the animals he brought those animals this is the process that the most high went through when he created man when he designed man he said man you're first here's your work This work is going to help you develop certain characteristics inside of yourself that allows you to become a better man or a better for this environment that you're designed to be in, that you're equipped to be in. This is going to help you develop. Now, while he's doing that and developing, he creates something else and says, first thing he says, it's not good for man to be alone. I'm going to create a helper for him. But that's not the very first thing that he did. The very next thing that he did was create animals. He created the animals and brought them to Adam for Adam to examine them. And as Adam Adam examined them, he said, this is your name. This is what you are. Based on these characteristics, you are this. The next thing, the very next thing that happened after that was Adam was he fell into a deep sleep the most high put adam into a deep sleep because guess what he had obtained the thing that he was 
at that point to that point, he had done the work that was necessary to be ready for the woman that he was about to create for him. So what happens next is boom, go to sleep. Now it's crazy because for me and my wife, while I was being developed, she was also, she was waiting. I would have never found her had I not been in the place that I was ready to observe and see so much. So to the point that what I saw her on, if y'all listen to the story before I saw her on Instagram, didn't know how to get in contact, get in contact with her, no way, shape or form. But I saw her and I said, that's her. I knew because I had done the work, the internal work, the external work. I had done the work to be able to see something unique, something different, something that was designed for me. And for women nowadays, they focus. A lot of women are starting to focus too much on who they can be for the man, whereas the man needs to be more so ready for the woman, because I'll get more into that later on but at the end of the day adam was sleep ladies sometimes your adam might be sleep so it's important to know and be ready when he wakes up adam was sleep and it says that he took flesh from his side and from the side of adam he closed it up and then the side that he took out he made a woman And he brought her to the man. Now, how can he bring it? How can he bring the woman to the man if the man is already asleep? He had to wake up first before he was able to realize this is a woman. This is something different. So after that, he examined the woman. A lot of women are are the in the examination period. I examined thousands of women before I found my woman. I examined so many women that by the time I found her, I knew it was her. Because I had done the self-work, I had done the examinations on women, I had done the examination on myself to know that, hey, this is something that is designed for me. Didn't know why I said that, didn't even think to know why I said that, but I fundamentally understood and saw something unique within her that for me was ideal for me at that time to develop with throughout the duration of my life. And that's very important to know because You have to know as a a man has to know, this is for women, a man has to know where he's developing towards in order to choose the right woman. The scripture also says that the man knew the woman was deceived. The man knew, but the woman, she was deceived. The the commandment came through the man. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, if you're not, if a man is not a teacher, If he's not relaying information to you as a woman, that's a very good sign that that man is not developed enough to be at that place. He's not developed enough. Now, I can get into all kinds of stuff about why Adam did this and why Eve did that. That's a whole nother conversation. But when Adam woke up and he saw that woman there, it says that he said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken from man. That's in uh, Genesis chapter two, verse 23. Now, the crazy, the interesting thing about that particular verse is the fact that he said, this is bone of my bone, meaning that he had examined other things that were not bone of his bone and that were not flesh of his flesh. So when he examined the woman and saw that this is something that is just like me, I'm going to call her this. So pay very attention, pay very close attention to what a man is calling you, because what he is calling you is what you will be to him in his life. He called the woman woman, which means the mother of all living. And the fact that she was taking she was taken out of him and presented to him. So this is very important to understand the framework that the creator created the process for he didn't tell adam what to call her adam just knew um he didn't have to you know have confirmation and a prophet preaching to uh, tell him or anything like that he just knew he knew based on his experiences that this is something that was created for me based on the things that i've 
come to understand about myself. I've come to understand that I know how to name animals. I know how to maintain the garden that I was placed in. I know how to maintain things. I know how to be creative. I know how to create names for animals. I know how to base it on fact, meaning that I examine it. These are the characteristics of this particular animal or this particular person or type of thing. And that's how it is. That's what it is. That's a fact. And these are the characteristics of that fact. Okay, I got that settled. Now, what's next? All the main work was pretty much done. The hardest work that the man could have done was now the woman. So we all know what happened after that in the guard. We know that the woman ate and she gave it to her husband who was right there with her. Now, that also is the power of a woman. The power of a woman is the ability to make a man or sh- or or let me see how I can how I can say this in the right way the power of a woman is the ability to convince a man to do something other than what he knows to be true or be right so realistically the power of a woman is the ability to persuade to now I don't mean persuasion in a bad way but it can be used in a bad way but the ability to persuade a man to be something that he is not so that's part of the help dynamic that a woman was established and designed for if a man is still in certain phases yes you can work with him to help him become better but if he's not there himself and he doesn't want to be there himself then adam's ability to say no we're not supposed to be eating this fruit was the reason why things progressed the way they did afterwards same thing with abraham and sarah same thing with a lot of different people so a woman has the ability to persuade a man in any direction and that's why it's vitally important for a man to get the understanding and to be able to teach a woman why things have to be done a certain kind of way because if you don't it can throw off the balance and can throw off the paradise that they were in they were in the utopia they were in the paradise and one decision caused them to lose focus and this is why the serpent fundamentally went for the woman because he know that he knew that through the woman he can get through to the man because he knew that the man would love the woman so much that even if she did do something wrong, he wouldn't not want to lose her and therefore be alone again. So the power that a man, the power of a woman is so strong that a woman can influence a man to do something that he fundamentally knows is not true. Now, I'm not talking about you specifically, the woman, but women in, in general, women as a whole have the ability to influence man to create or to be destructive if you notice a lot of the school shootings that happen are a result of a guy who can't get women who can't get females they're fundamentally distraught at the fact that females don't don't want him don't like him not interested in him so women have the ability to make a man become his best self or his worst self but Internally, what we have to do is work on self and the person that we are and we have become because the serpent whispers to everyone. It's just that he uses the woman because the woman is easier to get to because of her innate nature to want more. And to be more to offer within the relationship. See, the serpent came to the woman for. The fact that he came to her with the fact that she could be more than what she was. And she she took the bait. She was like, you know what? If I eat this fruit, I'm going to be just like the most high. And she ate it, not knowing they were already created in the image and the likeness of the creator. Now, that's a whole nother story because I can't I won't I, I won't even touch on that right now, but. We got to find out who the us was that the creator was talking to. And that's a whole nother conversation. But the man, it says that the man, therefore, the man shall leave his mother and his father. And be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Now, this was Moses talking after the fact he was describing what happens. But 
a man will leave what he knows to be fundamentally comfort, meaning he left. He would leave his mother and his father, but he also would leave what he knows to be true. Now, I, I'm one of the I know for a fact that it wasn't the woman's fault. I'm not blaming Eve for the, what happened in the garden. I, I literally blame Adam for being out of position is it's Adam's fault that this all, all this stuff happened because he was the, the bearer of the seed. The seed is where life comes from. Now I know there's a lot of scientific crap and all that stuff, but no, realistically, if you don't believe that, then go buy some seeds and see how much they are compared to dirt and put a seed in just, just put a seed in dirt. And see which one, or don't don't put nothing in the dirt and see where it grows, and then go buy some seed and then see where it grows. Nothing will grow just from dirt, but at the end of the day, we both work together mutually. Like we have to have each other in order to develop this thing that this life and this world that we have come to. Understanding the purpose of a woman is the ability to bring forth either the good or the evil. That's why the serpent chose the woman, because the woman is the conduit to life. Regardless if it's from Adam to the world or from the serpent to Adam, the conduit, the in-between is the woman. She's the in-between. So without her, there is no way to produce. There is no way to procreate. There's no way to reproduce. There's no way. There's no reason to create. There's only a reason to maintain. So Adam was good at maintaining, but only until the Adam to the animals came when the most high was trying to prep him or give him the work to be able to be creative enough for the woman. So. The animals came, he gave them the ability to create their names, but that led way into him being able to create and become better for, for the woman. So having that understanding that the woman is the, the, the pivotal point of life here on this earth, you cannot have life without having a woman. But a woman has the ability to inspire. That's the word I'm looking for. Woman has the ability to inspire a man to do whatever. You can either inspire him to do good or it can inspire him to do not good or evil. That's a powerful position to be in because it really puts you as a woman in control. Because you have certain things, certain characteristics that can inspire a man to do things. A lot of women don't know how to inspire a man. So it actually ends up working against them to where now is he, he, she becomes the work. She becomes the problem instead of them working the problems together and using each other's abilities and purpose to become and to produce this world to where it's actually a, a, a pleasurable place to 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 have to live in, to habitate. He gave both of them the same amount of dominion to do to to rule over this, rule over that, replenish everything. He gave both of them the same abilities, but like I said, he gave the woman a a very special power in the ability to inspire something within the man, whether it's sexuality, whether it's wanting to produce a nice home, wanting to buy a ring, wanting to do all these different things that innately a man probably wouldn't have never thought about doing, but because he loves the woman so much, it causes a man to want to do whatever it takes to keep the woman, just like he did when, when Eve ate of the, of the fruit. If Adam wouldn't have never ate of the fruit, potentially he could have lost Eve. And he would have been alone again, like I said. But he would rather disobey the creator than to lose that woman, which is why he chose to eat of the fruit. Let me say that again. 
A woman's power is so great that that man would have rather disobeyed the creator, the one that created him, than to lose the woman that was created for him. So a woman has the ability and the power and the gifts to inspire a man to even go against the creator, the one that made him. That's amazing. I don't know about y'all, but ladies, you deserve a little bit of, yeah, I'm going to give y'all a hand clap for that. Uh, Because it's a two, two-edged sword. You, you can either use it for the benefit of the relationship or for the benefit of the marriage or just people in general, or you can use it to the detriment of the relationship or the people in general or to yourself. Um, a lot of women think that a relationship is the completion of who you are, but realistically women were designed for relationships. So I get it. I get that. I get the reason why women desire relationships so much because women were fundamentally designed for the man and men were fundamentally designed for work, which is why the curse, the curse is were dedicated to the things that they were designed to do, man, you're cursed to work. And by the sweat of your brow, you're going to eat woman. You want to, de- you, you're going to desire your husband. He's going to rule over you. So relationships and work, those are the two fundamental purposes of man and woman. So both of them are important because they both help to establish this place that we call earth, the place that we're living in, the place that we've created. Everything that we have is a result of a relationship and a result of work. Everything, this computer, that I'm that I'm talking on this phone that I got it's a it's a it's a result of the relationships of the people that created this and the work that they did to create it that's the that's the basis of what this world is built on working together and working on a specific thing without those two together there is nothing to be created on this planet nothing even the first relationship, Adam and the Most High, the, the garden was created for the man to inhabit. That's a relationship and it's based on work. He put him in a very comfortable, very nice p- place to be in because he wanted him to work and he wanted to have a relationship with him. Now, it says in the cool of the day after they had eaten the fruit, the Most High came and asked, where are you, Adam? And then when he came Something about the relationship had changed. So now that I've given you this person, our relationship has changed. See, that's why it's so important for a woman to understand who you are and who the man is, because you don't want a man that is not at a certain point of the work process. But also understand that your power as a woman has the ability, if you haven't worked out within yourself, the selfishness and the thing that causes you to want everything to be for yourself and then afterwards give it to your your mate then that's going to cause the same pattern to 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 happen again the serpent is already in the relationship the moment you decide that what about me and then you get what about me and then well I give him whatever after I get it then Now you put him in a position to say, well, it's either you or not you. And you've all, you're all I know. We've cleaved together. We've, we've become so intertwined. We've become one. It's going to be hard to make a decision to split apart from the thing that I've cleaved to the thing that's just like me, the thing that I've examined and named as opposed to something that named me. Isn't is that's, if a woman doesn't take that too personal and think that it's all about her, then it's really a beautiful thing in that sense. But on on the flip side, I get it. A lot of guys are abusive in their mentality and they are possessive in their mentality in the sense that having a woman means to them 
more. It means to them more so that what they have is they own. They own it and it has to do what they they want it to do. And it's more of a possessive thing to where now if it's not doing what I think it should do, I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to abuse it. I'm going to take my frustrations out on the thing or on the person, on the relationship, on the on the woman. As opposed to them doing the self work and understanding that, hey, listen. We can fix this, we can work on this, we can work on that. I am going to through the process that I've went through to become the man that I am, I'm going to show you and teach you why this, that, and the third. Because that's fundamentally what a man is designed to do is to teach, to work, and then to teach. A woman's um, fundamental design is to be a help me in the relationship and to, you know, so relationship first um, and then to be able to inspire the man to become better. Those are the fundamental things that both parties encompass when they work together in a beautiful way. So it's important that you uh, it's important that I did this series because it's good to know the basics of why a man and a woman were designed. What was the mentality? What was the thinking of the creator? Why did this stuff happen in Genesis and how does it relate to what we're doing now? How does this stuff relate to what we're doing right now at this moment? Because this is the same process that we go through as humans. Now, it was the same process that we that they went through back then. Is the inspiration, the work coupled with the internals in the internal decisions of who I am and what I desire, what I want over what's more important at this moment? What are we focusing in on? What is the work? What are we trying? What are we trying to do? in in life in this particular th- planet that we call home what are we trying to do together what is our purpose and i'm going to start talking about that the purpose of a relationship in the next episode where i dive more into when you bring the two together what is supposed to happen what are you two supposed to be creating on this planet what what are you guys supposed to inspire what is the relationship supposed to look like what is it supposed to supposed to feel like why was it even designed in the first place like so we have an understanding of why the man was created he was created for it we have an understanding why the woman was to help work and to and design for a relationship with the man to help him but how can you help somebody that doesn't have anything to do so the relationship is what you do How do you inspire him? How does he work with you? How do you guys work together? How do you help him? How does he help you? How does he teach you? How does he show you? What has he learned? What have you learned? What are you supposed to give? What are you supposed to not give? The last thing it says in this particular verse, 2 verse 25, it says, and they were both naked and the man the man and his wife and were not ashamed. They were both naked in front of each other. There was no shame because they were honest and they were open with each other. There was nothing to hide. So without that nakedness, the relationship will not work without nakedness. So I'm going to save that for the next episode. But ladies, I just wanted to tell you that you, your purpose is important. Your design is very important. You have a you have something that only you have, but there's so many different variations of it because of experiences, past uh, parental influences, friend influences, the world, the serpent. There's so many different things that try to come at you in hopes that it will deter you and keep you off kilter. So that you continuously attracting men that are off kilter. And when you are, when you attract the right man, then he, then the serpent really comes because he's trying to attack him through you. But we want to build the woman up so that she is able to withstand the, the attacks and the, the whispers of, of the serpent to be able to keep the family unit strong because 
the woman, if her influences start to change, she start looking outside of what she is designed to do. That's when the serpent is entering into the relationship. And then it starts to deteriorate the relationship because the woman has the ability to inspire the man to do things that he was not equipped to do or supposed to do. So that's been today's episode. I want you guys to let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts about about this. If you have any more questions, please let me know. The website will be up very, very, very shortly. Uh, we will be doing some coaching. Uh, we have courses and books and things like that where we'll be diving more into the depths of why we were created, what it means to be here. What, how can this stuff relate to you? How can you benefit from this knowledge? And how can you produce the best life that you were created to produce while you're here? That's what relationships and chill fundamentally is. It's about developing you and developing you through relationships. That's why the most high gave men and women the relationship is for development. But how do you develop without the right tools? My wife always says, you're only as good as your tools. Let us be a tool. Let our coaching be a tool. Let our books, our resources that we're going to produce be a tool to help you guys create the best life that you possibly can. You can reach me at uh, Instagram at Relationships and Chill, Facebook at Relationships and Chill, um, YouTube Relationships and Chill TV, and email. You can email me at contact at Relationships and Chill, where we will be able to help you guys further along the process. So I thank you guys for taking the time to listen to this episode of Relationships and Chill. I am your gracious host, Coach R. Anthony. And I want to wish you guys peace and much blessings. And I hope this information helps to bless your life in some way, shape, or form. You guys take it easy. And um, Relationship to Chill, we out. Peace. Thanks for listening to Relationships and Chill. For more information on cultivating the relationship of your dreams, please follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Relationships and Chill. Or subscribe to our YouTube channel at Relationships and Chill TV. You can also visit our website at www.relationshipsandchill.com. Together, let's make relationships great again.